We've all seen the signs you're an empath videos and posts and blogs, but what are empaths really like? In this video, I'm going to share with you those secret characteristics that aren't always immediately obvious, but are still extremely impactful and important to understand as an empath or if you know someone who is one. Make sure you watch until the end because I have a bonus for you. I'm going to share with you the true power of the empath and no, I'm not going to say it's their sensitivity. If that intro succeeded in piquing your curiosity, give this video a like and make sure you subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell to get notified every week when I post a new video. I'm Sierra Rubin, singer, teacher, and intuitive life and business coach for empaths. I started learning about empaths when I was a kid and my mom mentioned that our whole family was full of them. I'm not only an empath myself and was raised by several of them, but I had the word to describe everything I was experiencing that seemed a little different. That's why the things I share with you today are an insider's look at the empath psyche. The first characteristic is that empaths jump head and heart first into relationships quickly. Empaths are the masters of making fast friends and tend to tell their new friend their life story almost right away. Empaths tend to be the one doing most of the work in the relationship, whether that's communicating, making plans, or seeking help or growth for the relationship, especially if it's a partnership, and the relationships can often end badly and just as quickly as they started. The second characteristic is that empaths are either a little bit or a lot of it psychic. One of the definitions of being an empath is that you are profoundly clairsentient. Clairsentience is one of the main intuitive sentences, and it means clear feeling. Clairsentience or body slash feeling intuition is the most powerful and accurate intuitive sense. The empath may have their other clairs developed or they may not, but either way, their intuition is usually spot on. Some empaths may have even had some strange or paranormal experiences. The third secret characteristic is that the empath struggles with accepting and embracing their sensitivity. Many empaths spend most of their life ignoring their sensitivity and even engaging in self-sabotaging behaviors or habits that numb and dull their natural, powerful sensitivity. Empaths might know or understand this idea that sensitivity is strength, but they struggle to fully believe it and to put that strength into action. This question is for all the empaths out there who are watching. How do you really feel about your sensitivity? Have you never really thought about it? Have you embraced it? Are you annoyed with it? Are there people who were annoyed by it when you were growing up? Is there someone in your life now who's annoyed with your sensitivity? Probably because they don't understand it. This is a safe space. Please let me know in the comments below. The next secret characteristic of the empath is they have a strong moral compass. Empaths know right from wrong, and they mostly do right. That being said, many empaths may have lied a lot as kids or even engaged in stealing. These actions were survival and coping mechanisms because empaths often grow up and live in situations where they feel extremely controlled and completely unseen for who they really are. The last secret characteristic of an empath is that deep down, they believe that all people are good and they have faith in humanity. They may have been deeply betrayed and heartbroken, most of all by themselves, but all empaths have this flicker, this tiny little candle flame within their heart that no matter who batters or bruises them, it can never be extinguished. So I promised I was going to share with you the true power of the empath, and that is learning to love yourself. There is no greater empowerment or fulfillment than true self-love. 
That being said, self-love is a pretty lofty goal and often feels a little out of reach or even unrealistic for most empaths, especially when they're first starting their journey. The real secret to achieving self-love is to start by cultivating self-trust. Without trust, there is no love. If you don't really trust yourself, how can you ever love yourself? That's just a little question I want to leave on your heart today. If you found today's video a little exposing, like I was reading into your mind or looking through a window into your life, I know you will love my free empath quiz, What's Your Brand's Fatal Flaw? Every hero has a fatal flaw, something that keeps getting in their way every time they try to save others. It's only when the hero realizes that she needs to save herself that she's able to overcome her fatal flaw and live her dream. Click the link in the description below this video to take this super quick and super powerful quiz right now. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you'd like to learn about another power that every person has inside of them, watch this video. Thank you so much for watching. I love you today and every day. And I'll talk to you soon.